saying the things you need to be a priest. You can't have anything wrong with you. So if you were born like sterile, you can't be a priest. What? <laughs> if you were born what, what, blind, what if the whole if the hand forces you to sin, cut it off? Be only healthy people can serve God. <laughs> but I like doors. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of short priests out there. A lot of short priests. Wanted to be scriptural because I am a Christian person, but I'm not into organized religion theoretically. You know, I, I, I practice Christianity. I'm, I was raised in the Holiness of Pentecostal Church, but at the same time, my scriptural base or, or knowledge isn't that strong. And I already knew that um, my associate Comey had more clarity and more understanding about scripture than I. So I said, okay, hey, why not bring my Bibles with me? Basically what she's saying is, okay, if you if, if you have a video camera made by Kodak, or we could say Canon because my camera's from Canon or whatever. When it comes in the box, it comes with an instruction manual. And if it malfunctions, take it back to, to Canon to get fixed or whatever. You wouldn't take it to the beauty shop. This, this is what she said. You wouldn't take it to the beauty shop to get his nails done. You know, because it's a camera. You take it back to Kodak and they fix it. So she's saying that as far as... Basically, she's saying that if... She's saying that, that, that being gay is a, is a malfunction. And the Bible is our instruction manual. And then when it malfunctions, you take us back, back to... The manufacturer take us back to God, go back to God to get seeds to be yes, turned straight like, or whatever. Yeah, that's 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 so that's that's what she said. No. That's what she said. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't think going to church or going back to God is going to fix it. I mean, I've been to church. I've been to church too. I don't. I don't, I don't think. All I do is get annoyed when I hear stuff about about changing gay people to turn them straight. You know, instead of changing who you are. I don't know. That's just me. But we, you, got, you, got, you got that Bible over there? We have a question here now. Oh, we got a question. The a question is, what, is what, what, what malfunctions on us gay people? What's the solution? Because I the function. Quite is it Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> is it baptism? The, func the, function, baptism? the malfunction is that, you, that, you, that you're programmed, you're supposed to sleep with women. Oh, shit, no, with women, no, no. but however, you sleep no, with men. No, and procreators. I guess. Just because you're not accepted at church, does, I mean, just because you think that you're not accepted at church does not give you a reason not to go. People cannot they're accept you for a lot of things. Foundation. They won't accept you because of the way you dress. They're not going to accept you because you look funny. They may not accept you because you might have children out of wedlock. Well because a lot of us in the community, you That's know, what we was. make slip ups. And you know, and back in our times when we used to be straight or we was trying to figure out our sexuality, we done got some girl pregnant. And then you got to sit there. I'm, on, I'm only saying this because, you know, I know people like this. Okay. That's 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 the we're that's the quote unquote malfunction. With women. We're, we're, okay. we're, we're because the Bible says like the Bible says that thou shalt not lie with mankind like thou lies with womankind. Christianity, Christianity is actually a big hypocrisy, and it's mainly the ones that judge others who are just as fucked up like people that are judging. Like for example, this guy I know. Thinks about gay, being gay is an abomination. However, he's gay himself. So I think personally, you have your views and opinions, but some should not be put out there because it's gonna make you look stupid in the retard. Okay, so I can't sleep for man. That doesn't mean I can't fuck him. Honestly, if I mean, you sit up and, and really, that means you can't sleep with another man. You can fuck him. You can do whatever you want to him. But just, just don't, don't call sleep him out. Him. Just don't cuddle out. Like, what's what's up with that? I'm, no I'm intercourse. Crazy. Just sleep with him. Just, 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 just lay it, next it, to him. It baffles me. It really does. It really baffles me real hard. <laughs> so what? Ty, shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I praise Jesus. But um, I mean, hey, there's a, you can still walk <laughs> in a path of Christ like <laughs> I, I'm a man. I am a homosexual, and I'm still a Christian. I don't go around selling my body to everybody. I don't go screwing things. I may smoke where I want but I haven't asked God to deliver me from that yet. But when I'm ready for me to do that, then I will. If you ask him for something, he'll do it. A lot of people... But like you got to want 
to do it. That too, yeah, you gotta wanna do it. Don't ask for oh, nothing. Yeah. Don't sit up there and ask God to take something away that you still gonna continually do. If you want him to take him away, then he'll take it away. So, I mean, a lot of people like Donnie McClurkin, or a lot of other people said that God delivered them from homosexuality. No, I don't believe that. I believe God d delivered them from the nasty and gutter buck buck bucket type shit that they did when they were homosexual, when they were dealing with dudes, when they were simply doing drugs and, and liquor and selling their butt out and all that stuff like that. You don't have to live life like that. Have you can be a homosexual, like you can still go to church, you can still praise God because he woke you up in the morning and then go home with peace in your heart. So I think really the reason why a lot of homosexuals denounce Christianity is not because they're not accepted. Because you're not going to be accepted anywhere. That's life. It's because you're too lazy to, to get your butt up and, get and your thank own salvation. God because yes. you got up. Right. That's the Bible says come as you are. And if everyone kind of misinterprets, oh, I can come in my jeans and that's what it, no, it really means more than that. All the crap that you had with you, you take it to church. That's the hospital. Whatever you got, Jesus can cure it. That's just that simple. You can live in this world and not be like these people in the world. You have an opportunity to stand out for holiness. And the Bible says that holiness, that's without no man. So see the Lord. I'm done.